Hi, it's Mr. C here from Devidain. Thanks for buying this layout kit. I think we all appreciate that first impressions count and a boring profile picture can make or break a website. That's why we made this layout kit for you. We wanted to make sure that you can impress your clients and come back for more. In this layout kit, we have eight modules and 20 different configurations to choose from. It will help you build websites faster. So let's get started. In this video, we're going to cover four things. How to import a single module. How to add CSS styles and change the colors. How to make an image link to a page. And how to remove the hover tooltip if you don't want your images to link. To get started, we want to go to the My Account page. You've purchased the product. You can download the zip file to your local machine. I've already done that. It's on my desktop. Here it is. And I've unzipped it so that we can access the files that are in there. Uh, you can see there's quite a few. There's a JSON file and a CSS file. We also have a functions file, which we would get to uh, at a later step. Uh, for the time being, the first thing we want to do is import the JSON module. For that, I've set up a uh, empty site over here. Uh, you obviously want to have the Divi theme. You might have set up a child theme, which we recommend in most cases. Uh, WordPress recommends that too. However, in this case, we're just going to use the Divi theme and import directly into the Divi library. So. That's the first step. So let's go to the Divi library and then we go import export. We want to go and grab that JSON file. Uh, let's click on import. Let's click choose file and there's a JSON file. Double click on that guy and then we click import. Normally you have to wait a little bit. It gives you the green mark, but then we have to wait a little bit more. There you go. And then it will reload and voila, there's all our modules have been imported so now we want to make a page with this right so we want to go and see what it looks like to add the css but first let's start by building a page so let's go to pages all pages and let's click add new and uh, let's just call this test page we want to make sure we click on use the divi builder kind of important. Also, depending on how your theme is set up, we need to choose a template, which is a blank page. Um, if it doesn't behave the way you expect it to, you can come and play around with that, see what your, your theme is set up as. Right, so we got that. Then there's two ways uh, to import into the library. In this instance, we're working with modules and sections and rows. Uh, and that's why we're going to use the add from library option here at the top where it says load from library this is actually when you want to import a complete page layout what will happen is with it will come replace everything that's there if that's what you want to do it will shove everything in the top and all will move down to the bottom we don't want to do that we just want to add a module so let's click on add from library there's our library, so let's go with uh, four columns. I'm okay with that. And voila, uh, there they are, all of them. So let's click publish and have a quick look at this page to see what it looks like. I'm going to right click, open in a new tab. So here we are on the page we just made. You'll notice that there's no hover effects or no animations. Uh, it's a completely flat page. and. The reason for that is because we haven't added the CSS styles yet. If you're happy with it this way, then by all means, you use it that way. Uh, you can upload images, you can do anything you want to do. You can add the titles here, um, the links for the Facebook, for the Twitter, whatever you need to do. Alternatively, if you want the nice fancy stuff, that's what we're going to do now. To do that, we want to go to the theme settings and we want to add the custom CSS styles that we've already given to you it's in the folder so what you want to do is go to divi theme options and then scroll right to the bottom on on the first one here general settings 
and yeah you can see there's an area for adding custom CSS now if you're familiar with WordPress or working in, in different ways everyone will have a different workflow you might just upload the, the CSS styles and put it into your style.css file uh, alternatively someone else might come here and, and add it because you just have a small section wherever you add it it's okay um, I'm sure you can figure that out yourself. In the meantime, we're just going to do it this way. Uh, let me go to the desktop and go and find that file. So that was a JSON we imported. Yeah, we've got the cascading styles sheet for this module, one of eight. You've got to make sure that you match the styles for each module to the matching module. Uh, otherwise, it's not going to look the same. So that's kind of important. Click on it, open it, very simple. You do control A and then you copy everything here, copy. And then we want to switch back to the custom CSS section. We want to do control V, paste everything in there. Let's click save. And then what we can do is we can just go and reload this page, control shift R or control F5 and now our styles are there lovely so that was the first step that we've gone through we've imported we've added the styles that we wanted now let's say we want to change the color so what we want to do is gra grab this color that's the first step we need to search through the css uh, code that we've got and change the uh, hex color to the new color that we want so let's go to let's go and edit this page let's open in a new tab let's go and see what color is there already and then we can choose which color we want so let's do that click on it and let's go to advanced settings and here's the color that we want to change right so that's that color uh, i'm just going to copy that and then i'll just go to the style file and just paste it somewhere so that you know what it is let's switch back what color are we going to change here? okay let's change to a nice divvy purple lovely okay let's grab that we want to make a note of that too put that in the file right and then there's different hovers hover effects these are things that we want to change uh, also because we want to save a new global style so let's go select color let's go this is about in the middle so let's click there let's click in the middle that's a good hover color um, I think we'll just grab it in case so that would be hover paste it okay and then this one we've got that over here already copy let's just make sure we change that select color control v okay and then those are the advanced styles so we click save on this one then what we want to do is we want to save this as a new global when it's green like this it's a global style that that runs across the site for this module so let's save this as a new global style that's the first step so let's do that um, uh, then you've got general settings advanced settings and custom css so we want to go now save and add to library uh, we're gonna call it um, new person module style okay there we go and then what's important is that we want to exclude the general settings and the general settings are the ones that i've just showed you that's the image that's where it links to we don't want that to be a global style because if it's a global style it means that you would show the same picture for every single image uh, for every single box which is not what we want we we only want the the styles to pass over and the custom styles. so in this instance we're going to untick that then we're going to go make this a global item and then we click save and add to library now you'll notice this one has gone green again so that's our new global style these guys would have the wrong global style so we're going to click them away then we're going to clone these ones and drag them into the position 
um, assuming that we want to keep the same layout All right so now I'm gonna click update then that was that was the first step the second one would be we need before we go and look at this page the second one would be to go back to to Divi itself I have an open in a different tab then uh, we've got the custom CSS styles here now first what we want to do is look for the other style uh, the specific color that we want to change so it's this one here that we want to change if you have a text editor it's much easier to quickly find and replace these styles which is what I'm going to be doing um, if you have to you can do it uh, in your browser by just doing control F uh, each browser is slightly different you can look online how to find it and then you go paste that color and then you can see it comes up so uh, we can just go through it here and add the, the, the different color make sure that you don't uh, add extra spaces in between or anything like that just make sure that you copy it properly instead I'm going to do it in my text editor so first one was control copy and then I do control find so yes I want to find that color and I want to replace it with this new one there we go right so uh, find next there it is I'm just going to hit replace all because I know it's right then I'm going to close this I'm going to copy all of this again control copy and then I'm going to replace this control A delete control V and paste the new color then I'm going to click save there we go now we can go back to our test page and do a hard refresh so control shift R or control F5 and we should have all our new colors as you can see because we uh, duplicated the uh, the global all, all these images are the same now it's very simple you're just going to go back and change the images the most important thing that we've got is that all the styles are, are the same all the hovers are the same colors and the uh, the CSS looks exactly the same for responsive and that's how you finish that step let's move on to the next the next thing we want to do is make a, an image link to a page. Inside Divi, unfortunately for the uh, person module, they've not created a way for, for this to link yet. So uh, it's unfortunate, but that's how it is. So we had to write a special bit of code in order for it to link to a profile page. So let's assume this person has another page where there's a bio on them, what they've done, where they're from, blah, blah, blah. So we do that. Um, and in order to do that, we need to add some code to our functions.php file. For that, we're going to do the following. You want to navigate to the folder where we downloaded everything and unzipped. Here's a section called for functions.php. You want to open that in your notepad editor of choice. We want to grab this little bit of code, control copy. Uh, you can do this by FTP. You can go into your folder and find your functions.php file inside your theme. Ideally, uh, in your uh, child theme. Um, worst case, in your uh, Divi theme, but as we recommend, you better go with a uh, child theme, best case scenario. Otherwise, it might get overwritten when you update your theme. So, uh, I'm not going to do it via FTP. You can do it via your dashboard and it depends who you host with. Some hosting companies like uh, WP Engine or managed hosting, uh, often they prevent this uh, from being a function where people can edit. So if you go to appearance editor, this option won't even be available to you. It depends. If that's not available to you, then the only way to update your functions.php file would be via FTP and that's what you'd need to do so uh, in this case we're just going to do it through the interface you want to go to theme functions click on that guy and then you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of your page so you want to add it just before the closing tag control V 
and there it is important that we don't have any empty spaces before or after especially with the closing tag otherwise your website uh, will go down um, if it does happen just log in via FTP remove this line of code or just make sure that you don't have a space before uh, or especially after this because it will definitely be a problem so um, then let's update the file so we've added the code to the functions.php file now we want to go and change the link so we just go back to this page uh, control shift r we reload or control f5 whatever your device is and then let's click on the person so we want to go and change the person link so what, what where is this person going to link to you'll see we've added some uh, in the description we've got a little hash link over there this was the code that the functions.php file added so we click on edit really important is always when you write something here it's going to be http or https uh, and then ww and then that would link out to the internal page url uh, that you have where the person's profile page is. So HTTPS www. I'm just going to link it to google.com in this case, uh, just as an example. And then we click apply and then let's click save, update the page. And then if we go back here, we can then reload the page once more. And when we click on it now, it will take us to the relevant profile page. So that's how you add a link the next one thing on our list is we want to uh, remove the hover tool tip on the image if we don't want to link so we've added the profile here but you'll notice as soon as i hover on it the little uh, tool tip changes and how do we remove that so that we get the hover effect but no um, indication to the user that he can actually click on it to do that we just want to go to theme options uh, we want to go and look at the CSS and then we want to find a particular line and just remove that line so the word you want to search for is pointer uh, which you can also do in your uh, CSS file here in your um, preferred text editor or in this case I'm just going to do it in my browser so it will be control find we're going to search for the word pointer type that out and hit enter and then you'll see we only have one reference and this is going to be really easy i'm just going to highlight the whole line and delete and remove the little space and then we go save changes and then we can go back to the page Control shift r again and there you'll notice that there's no change anymore so that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. If you need any further support, uh, send us an email or you just log into the My Account page and click on the support button. Thanks a lot. Ciao.